Corn is the Washington Bureau Chief of Mother Jones and a columnist for PoliticsDaily.com. Christina Bellantoni is senior reporter with Talking Points Memo. Good morning to both of you. Good morning. Good morning Chris. Okay, so he didn't get the uh, nickname uh, Rombo for nothing. He had this uh, take no prisoners kind of attitude. We all remember when he sent a dead fish to somebody he uh, was unhappy with when he uh, got some bad news. I I'm wondering, David, what do you really think, though, this means for the White House? What does this mean for the American people? Well, you know, liberals really don't like Rahm Emanuel, and they see him as the fellow who's pushed uh, Obama to negotiate more than he ought to have with the um, Republicans who are, who are you know, leading towards the Tea Party. But I don't blame a horse for taking it where the rider wants it to go. Ultimately, the major strategic decisions are made by the president. And if anything, you know, Rahm Emanuel, even though he disagreed with the president in certain matters, he still carried out the president's strategy legislation. Legislatively. So, um, but we're about to enter a period, I think, after the November election, where there won't be a lot of great legislative maneuvering going on. It's going to be out and out political warfare between the two sides. And the White House is going to have to go through a major readjustment in, in deciding what type of presidency Obama wants to have. Well, this is interesting, Christine, and, and I'm, I, I love that analogy, you know, that uh, the, the horse and the rider. But what, what difference will it really make? And, and if we make the assumption that there will be a change in, in at least the House, potentially in the Senate, but at least in the House, is Rouse the guy if this is going to be an even more incendiary environment, which is always sort of hard to believe. <laughs> Uh, it's a great question. It's really undetermined at this point whether the House is going to turn over to the Republicans. But Rouse is known as working very well with the Senate. President Obama obviously has shown a lot of deference to the Senate in his legislative strategy for the last two years. And that may not change. You know, the Senate could be that key negotiating point if the House is controlled by Republicans and the Senate remains in Democratic hands. Rouse was called the 101st senator uh, back in the day when he worked for Tom Daschle because he had such good relations with everyone. He knows everyone within the halls of Congress. So that's definitely going to particularly help the White House, where Rom was looked at as having a fairly um, tense relationship with Congress, I think is the nicest way to put that. <laughs> tense, yes. Christina Bellantoni with Talking Points, David Corn with Mother Jones. Thank you both.